What's good guys? Reese here, sportbikepov.com. Once again back with another video. I just left the cars and coffee event and now I'm heading to the number one beach in the United States. I didn't really bring my fucking beach gear. I wasn't really planning on going today. I just, I had the cars and coffee event in mind and I figured, hey, fuck it. We're right next to the number one beach in the United States. Might as well go check it out and make a video. So yeah, if you guys are ever in Florida, in the Sarasota area, Siesta Key Beach. go once a week maybe once every two weeks pop a couple brews let's go pop some bitches you know how it goes so what makes the key beach so great is the sand is actually 99% quartz most beaches are a mixture of quartz and other minerals or sediment whatever the fuck you want to call it I don't know I'm not a scientist the sand is nice and soft it's cool to the touch even when it's hot outside When this beach is busy, parking is like a fucking Olympic sport. She has to drive. God damn. That's going to be nice. Bro, these houses down here gotta be like $10 million. I told y'all it was gonna be busy, didn't I? I think they just put out the sign that says the parking lot's full. Yeah, bro, siesta on a Saturday. You gotta expect it to be packed here. I always have luck to the left, but I'm going right just because. Motorcycle parking, let's fucking go, fam. Hey, that's pretty nice, right? Yeah. Parked up right away. Right. All right, guys, here we are. That sign that says number one. I really would take my socks and shoes off and head out to the beach so you guys can see it better, but this is sport like POV after all. It's not fucking beach POV. Oh, there it is. Keep the oceans clean. Apparently, there's like a garbage pile out in the fucking ocean that's three times the size of Texas or something. But yeah, guys, here it is. Number one beach in the USA. Boom. That's not a sign. You can't lie on a sign. Everybody knows that. Give me some revs. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at getting the two brothers. I ended up going with the toast. Oh, yeah? Okay, well, that one looks nicer, I feel. Thank you. Well, the one, like, I guess the big, the big one out in the back is really good. Yeah. That one looks really awesome. I had a Yoshimura RS5 right before. It sounded similar to that, but this one sounds like more raw. What year is this? Uh, 2011. This is 2009. Yeah, the fairings are pretty similar right here. I wasn't sure. Yeah. The other side, I don't have it on. Oh, really? I, just, I literally just replaced the, uh, the coolant thing. Yeah, me too. Literally three days ago. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I changed the coolant. I changed the oil. Got a new chain on. Dude, I was out of garage, though. Like, it's been sitting outside after, like, rain. Oh, man. The rain still gets, like, my chain all fucked up. In this heat, too. That's no fun. Yeah. 
can I get uh, a GoPro? Oh yeah, this is Roland. Do you mind? I have a YouTube channel. But what is it? Sport bike POV. Sport bike POV. Hell yeah. Cool. Yeah, check it out. She had the two brothers M2 exhaust. It sounded pretty good. I've never heard one in person, honestly. I saw videos on YouTube. I was gonna get one before I got the toast. Yeah, bro, I gotta get some gas. Yeah, that's been another episode like and subscribe sport bike pov i'll catch you on the next one